Good morning, everybody. Joan Nielsen here, and it's just after the storm that we've had for days. We've had like tons of rain, which is awesome because we've had a very low summer of rain, uh, hardly any water, water restrictions galore up here in BC, um, Canada. And it's really good to get a real downpour. We've had it for about four days, and it looks like it might clear up today, and it's really pretty out. You can see the mist and the trees, and it's really awesome. But as soon as I woke up this morning, I just, I had to come and tell you, talk to you about something, and do a video for you, because it was so important for me to do so. I want to talk to you about your power, your power that comes from in. We so often put our power, we give it up, we give it to other things, we give it to other people, and we make them all responsible for everything in our life. We allow our power to be depleted. We allow our power to, um, to just be given away. We allow our power to be even taken from us when all along it's always there our power is there we are very powerful people it comes from inside us it does not leave but we think it does we think it does because we've been we've been programmed trained um, we've lived that life we've watched other people see we watch the news and we see other people react we see other people uh, we've been taught this is how you do it, by living the experience through other people. We've lived in families who have been abusive. We've lived in families who have yelled and screamed at each other. We've lived in um, school systems that have uh, degraded and, um, and uh, put down. And it's time for you to take your power back. I could go on forever on where where you lost it and where it went and how you're programmed into thinking that, but it never went. It's just waiting for you to empower it, to empower you again. You are not this body you are in. You are unconditional love. You are true source energy. We all come from the same thing. If you go and look um, at science, and I'm not a scientist, so I only know what I've seen and what I've heard. We have cells that are like other cells. We are like everything in this world because we are all connected. Every person we are connected to, every being we are connected to. And if we empower ourselves if we start empowering ourselves to know that we can do anything, we can accomplish anything, we can be anything we want to be, once we start doing that, the powerful being will come out. And sometimes we'll take a hiatus. We'll need time to recoup. We'll need time to figure out what we're doing. But we don't even need to figure out what we're doing. We're already doing what we're supposed to be doing. Sometimes it's okay to take a break. Sometimes it's okay to be by yourself. Sometimes it's okay. And it's always okay. Empowering yourself, doing what you need to do. Don't listen to anybody else. No longer complain about what is. Empower what is. So you're in the same roadblock that you've been in a hundred million times. Do something different this time. This time, be grateful for it. This time, empower it. This time, take a moment to breathe. If you shed a few tears, it's okay. Allow yourself to do that. And then breathe. You are a powerful being and you can get through this. You can do this, whatever it is. It's 100% up to you to decide. No, it's not up to your spouse. 
It doesn't matter what they're going through. It doesn't matter what their life looks like. No, it doesn't ma it's not up to your children. It doesn't matter what they're doing. It doesn't matter how ridiculous they're acting or whatever it is you think they're doing that's not supposed to be happening. It doesn't matter about your finances. It doesn't matter about your parents or your siblings or your friends or your career or your job. It doesn't matter. You can take this moment, empower yourself, get yourself back up to that best person that came here and be the powerful being that you want to be. It is all up to you. And you are so worth it. Make it an amazing day, everybody.